Ik weet het niet. 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 Ik well, you can describe as the pioneers of Jagged Pop. What, Jagged. what would you say Jagged Pop was? We really don't know. Um, I think it's it's pop with rock elements, certainly, um, and quite punchy. Perhaps hence the jagged. I don't know if you guys agree with me. Yeah, definitely punchy. Um, and some of the stuff's quite up tempo and stuff like that as well. But we've got a few acoustic numbers um, for the acoustic stage today yeah. to tick that box. So, uh, yeah, that's that's as close as I'm gonna get to to jagged pop. I don't know what you're saying. I think it's a good synopsis, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you quickly introduce yourself and what your role is in the band. Uh, I'm Andy, I'm the keyboard player. I'm Claire, I play drums. I'm Paul, I sing and play guitar. Uh, Brian, sing and play bass. So how did you guys all meet each other and how long have you been together for? Well, Paul and I have been in the band um, for about five, six years, something like years, that. We've had years. various lineups, but um, yeah. and uh, Brian joined the band just over about a year and a yeah, half ago. Yeah, about a year ago, yeah. Just over a year ago, yeah. Um, and we'd known Brian from being in the sort of Glasgow circuit a lot, and we'd uh, Paul and Brian were actually writing on a side project for a while. Um, so when our previous bass player left, which was Paul's brother, yeah. Brian naturally filled the role, which was really really cool. So we didn't have to do that kind of awkward getting to know another band yeah. anymore. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And um, and Andy's joining us for some gigs uh, throughout July and played our single launch last year as well. So, yeah. so how do you feel your band has developed from when you first started to now? As a spectator of the band before I joined, I seen them go from kind of blase indie rock and getting a bit more interesting and not experimental per se, but much more uh, hard working and trying to do something with the songs. And since I joined, the focus went on the song. So rather than doing like fleeting six minute speculative numbers, we try to package it all together, we do three and a half, four minute songs, um, just to kind of discipline ourselves into learning what we're about who we were and what we're trying to do and I think we've kind of reached that plateau now we can quickly write music and uh, we do DIY all the recording where this is all ourselves so in, in box so to speak um, so I've seen the guys progress musically but as, as, a, as an outfit and then obviously when I get involved they get so much better oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Ryan changed everything <laughs> Um, just you get a lot more creative control, um, and you get to make a lot more decisions. Um, it's it's not the easiest, certainly. I mean, bigger label came along and, and gave us the same creative control and, and some money. Then we're not going to say no to that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you get a lot more freedom with it, um, and it's, it's you know quite liberating at times just to be able to see uh, see it from a label perspective as well as an artist perspective. But the control for me, I think, is yeah, yeah, the biggest control. point. Thing as well, there's a, a lot of bands waste a lot of energy seeking this elusive deal, and yeah. it doesn't work like that anymore. So, with having everything DIY, the control is important, but it gives Claire and the rest of us the opportunity to try out our kind of entrepreneurial <laughs> kind of uh, wantings, and it gives me the opportunity and Paul as well to do a lot of the you know, recording side of things. And it's just whatever we do is whatever we want to do, it's just refreshing, it's good fun. Probably going to differ slightly as you go along here, but so, uh, it's impossible to say. In, in any given day, it can just be it can be anything. In, in any given song, a moment might you might think I might hear something and think David Bowie, and he you know somebody else might think of like a rap artist. But we we, we hear the songs in completely different ways, and we cover so many different genres and what we listen to. But it, that's what we try and blend together. We, we try not to sound like our influences. We just try and learn pick little yeah. bits and pieces from them and blend it together. There's, there's, your own filter. There, there's no one, there's definitely no one band that we would all tie down and say this is definitely the, the number one influence. It's like, if we hear something, we like it, we're influenced by it, we don't kind of, we get influenced by songs more than, you know, particular artists, I would say. So what's your typical sort of songwriting process and where do you get this, the inspiration for your songs? Um, it's, we kind of start, the way if I can use an analogy, is that we start off with like an acoustic guitar, and that's the kind of the initial start of it. So if you think of like a balloon, and you build the paper mache around it, and then you pop the balloon. So sometimes if we write the song on an acoustic guitar, 
by the end of it, the acoustic guitar is totally gone, and we've got another song, another shell that's wrapped around it. Yeah. But it's sometimes it'll just be a wee thing on the iPhone, or you know what I mean, um, send it over. Somebody will adapt it, put a different percussion and all that underneath to send it back. As well as doing a lot of writing within the kind of studio environment as well. Yeah. Occasionally, sometimes we'll just jam something in the studio. It'll come together in like five minutes, just as a natural organic jam. Other times, it's sit at home with the acoustic guitar. Yeah, it's a bit more through composing and, 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 yeah. and really figure it out as we sit together. But um, again, we don't have a definitive one size fits all. Always use the same methods. We, we try and change, and I think that's part of the experimentation and development is use different methods and push ourselves to write in different environments in order to progress and improve as writers and, and as a band. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes just being in a different room can change yeah. how you approach something and it's, we, we try to vary the studios that we um, write in every so often just to get a fresh canvas yeah. almost. But yeah, it's, it is quite varied. No, yeah. oh, definitely. So what have you got planned for the year ahead? Um, we're finishing off the album at the moment and um, we're going to probably release another single or so from that. Um, we we done some TV in Canada last year, and the last single, uh, sorry, two singles ago, Dodos, which was actually produced by Paul and Brian, and mostly, Brian. mostly Brian, and engineered by Brian as well. And um, we got some airtime over there, so we'll probably do something, another big release before the, the album comes out later uh, in the year, um, and then just sort of take it from there. Yeah, see where it takes us. Yeah. See where the magic takes us. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for coming and speaking to us. Thank you. No, thank you for having us. Guys. You've been watching Waffle TV. Thank you very much.